with so many vehicles nowadays coming in equipped with Android Auto, and the beauty about having an Android product is the customization ability. And the thing I noticed, a lot of Android users with Android Auto, the latest one, which is Cool Walk, which is compatible with over 500 devices. This is a complete guide on how you customize it to really make it for your personal preference. Starting off with the overview layout. As you see, I do have my navigation over here and I have my media on this side. And depending on the vehicle that you're using, you may find that having the navigation on this side being more preferable than having navigation over here if your steering wheel is in the way like this car currently is. But of course, you can also double tap on the app that you're using for navigation to quickly enter full screen. Or if you need to make media be larger, you can also tap on it and it will also make navigation smaller. But for this setting, to swap these two, just go into your Android settings and then scroll down until you see the tab where it says change layout. And here you can select media to be closer or navigation to be closer. And for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and swap it so we can see in real time how that looks like. Now this, again, for me, this doesn't really work. My eye is normally over here when I'm looking for navigation because my screen and my heads up display also displays it up here. So it's not really necessary. And then the tool that a lot of people get confused with this is for media, if you don't know what you wanna to listen to, you're done with your playlist. This next tab that we slide into is content that Google suggests that you may typically want to listen to, like podcasts, news, and so on. And when you click on it, it will launch that app, which for me is primarily Google News stuff. Now, another amazing way to customize your device is now we have the ability to change our wallpaper. Right now, I have it turned off just for video demonstration purposes, but in the latest version of Android OS, Android Auto now has the ability to customize your wallpaper. So by default, it may be black. So by going into your Android settings and you scroll down and in the display section, enable use phones wallpaper in Android Auto. And now if we go back to our apps, our phone wallpaper is now the backdrop for the app library. That's pretty amazing. Apple CarPlay doesn't even offer that. Then the next thing a lot of people always overlook is the ability to rearrange your apps. You see, all these apps can actually be rearranged, and I'll talk more about this mysterious app up here in a little bit. If you like to rearrange your apps, I find it easier by going into your settings, scrolling down, and tap See More Settings on Phone. When you tap on it right here, just launch your Android app. It will automatically take you to your Android app settings on your main phone, and scroll down until you see Customize Launcher. By clicking here, you can rearrange the apps by long holding or uncheck the ones you really don't care about. And if you like to re-enable them, you could just check mark them again, just like that. And then this shortcut right here is one that you can actually create. You see on the top portion where it says Add Shortcut to Launcher, by clicking on here, you can either dedicate it to a contact number to always call or assign it to your virtual voice assistant. So in our case, we're using Google. Enter the command. It could be something simple like ask it, how's the weather in a certain location? How's traffic in my certain spot? But the one I created was this one, which is where is the nearest gas station, the Chevron gas station. So you could always do that if you have a preference of a gas station like going to whenever you do like a long road trip. And over here, you can change the icon to that shortcut. So I just used a gas emoji. So you could tap test command to make sure it works. So right now, the virtual voice assistant recognized that command and suggested me the nearest Chevron gas station like that and I could just start my route. But if I was traveling somewhere, it will highlight all the nearby Chevron gas stations for me. So you can also change this to like a nearby restaurant of your choice or a coffee shop. And then if it does work, just hit back and it should save right there. And I rearranged mine all the way on top, right next to the vehicle homepage shortcut. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm sure I can't be the only one. I hate getting inside my car and it immediately starts playing whatever I was listening to. If you like to disable the auto play music ability, go on settings and go ahead and look for start music automatically, disable that, and now it will no longer do that. And then where I'm currently at, the weather is ridiculously hot. And so another amazing tool, aside from the default built-in weather app from Google, which is basically a shortcut. Rockland, it's 108 degrees and sunny. Today, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 110 and a low of seven. Well, that's a misunfortunate. There we go. Now we reconnected. 
So yeah, it's really hot over here. But again, that weather shortcut app, this app icon for CarPlay is just a shortcut, very similar to like what we just recently created, but it's default by Google. But an app that I like using is my radar because this actually will give me a live radar of the current weather conditions when it's raining and stuff like that. Amazing for road trips, especially if you don't have like all season tires or driving on summer tires. This is an amazing tool for road trips. And I like to use the virtual voice system for weather and I like to see the radar while I'm cruising on the highway. I'll have this uh, weather radar app in the description down below if you want to install it on your device. Now when receiving an incoming call, there's two things I see a lot of people always overlooked. So right now I just received an incoming call from my, well text message, I'm sorry, from myself, right? If you ignore it, it's gonna do this. It's always gonna display the message. If you don't wanna be forced to reply to like maybe get back to them later, you can disable this. By going into your system settings on CarPlay and in the message tab, you can either disable message notifications in general or that first line of message. So by disabling this, it will no longer show the actual body of the message. It will just show the person that sent it to you. But again, if you want that gone entirely, go back into the message tab and disable message notification. And now it's gone. I, so I personally prefer just having disable show first line of the message. And if you like to play chimes whenever you receive a message, that's your preference if you like to have that enabled or not. But play AI message summaries, this is really good, especially if you receive a long message, like a paragraph or so. When you receive an incoming text message like that, it will actually use AI and just highlight the key features and just give you a brief summary. So you don't have to listen to like a several minute message if you're just trying to enjoy your music on a long road trip. Just highlights important stuff and you could decide if you need to reply immediately or not. Then if you actually use your mobile device for business purposes, for setting up appointments with friends, families, the calendar app is actually a very powerful tool from Google, all due to the fact that it will actually scan your calendar events so for your upcoming appointments your upcoming meetings if you include the location and you include people that are also attending that are linked to their gmail account if you're on your way and there's traffic automatically the google calendar app will actually alert them letting everybody know in the party that you will be arriving late due to traffic it's something that does it all automatically so just keep that in mind if you're utilizing the google calendar app it'll do that automatically on your behalf but then as you noticed earlier my unit decided to glitch on me it's good to know how to reset your vehicle head unit so for bmw you simply would hold down like the volume rocker to turn off the display for 30 seconds and your display will turn off and reset everything instead of you having to reset your phone or turn off and turn back on your vehicle so if i just continue holding it it's going to turn off my display and reboot the whole unit freeing my device from any bugs it may experience now for Ford, you simply hold down the right track button as well as the volume button as you press and hold down to like mute. Just continue holding that volume knob for five seconds and it will also do the exact same thing. And for other brands, it's typically just hold down the volume rocker button, the little turn off icon for five to 10 seconds. It will also reset the whole unit, it's just the media center though, not your whole vehicle. So for your exact vehicle, I highly recommend just going on Google and just type in the mark and model and just type in how to reset the unit. So this is definitely a powerful tool to know because this will definitely free up headaches, especially on long road trips. If you're relying on navigation or media for like podcast listening and just enjoy overall enjoyment. And then another thing, whenever you're driving, it's good to know that you can hands-free control your Google Voice Assistant. For steering wheel control, the microphone icon, a simple tap will do your vehicle's virtual voice assistant. But for your Android device, by long holding, it will toggle your Google's voice assistant, or if you're using Bixby like on Samsung, it will toggle that. So again, long hold on the steering wheel microphone icon for your phone virtual voice assistant. But if you like to program it so verbally I recognizes your voice only, it's easy. Go back on your Android settings for your CarPlay, scroll all the way down and tap on see more settings on phone. Unlock your device and go into the assistant tab where it says, hey, this word, detection, click on here. And if you haven't set this up, you'll see like train voice match model. But since we already did it on our device, we don't need to do that. But this is where you go in and it will actually bring you like proper commands 
and you just read out loud to train the virtual voice system to recognize your tone of voice so others in their car can't falsely toggle it. An amazing, powerful tool. And if you're ever stuck at a parking lot waiting for somebody and your vehicle doesn't have any mobile games of its own, remember, Android Auto actually has Game Snacks, which allows you to have access to these free-to-play games in your car while you're waiting. And yes, this does include classic chess. And lastly, a very useful tool, especially if you travel a lot. Remember, Android Auto, you have the ability to override your driver seat location. So if you're at a place in Europe where the seats, the driver steering wheel is on the opposite side, you can change your driver seat location right here from left to right or default from the vehicle's VIN number. Again, sometimes you need to override it and Android Auto allows you to do that. And then if you share cars with your significant others and when you're both in the same car together, they may get upset that your device is connected, not their personal device. In the settings still, if you scroll down, in the startup mode, select here, default set by the car only, or you can override it to always start up. But I personally prefer using if used on last drive. So if you didn't use CarPlay last time on this car, it won't do it. But your spouse, if they were using it, their device will automatically be guaranteed to connect first. So this will eliminate those annoying headaches on why is your device connected, but not mine. Hit that like button if you know my suffering. And then another cool, useful tool you may have noticed, I have my maps always on dark mode. Again, dark and day mode, you could either have it automatic to adapt with, with your phone setting, or you can select daytime. I personally prefer night, night mode all the time. I think it just looks pleasant in a black interior car. But aside from that, now you know all the ins and out when it comes to this third revision of Android Auto. Thank you so much for watching.